M0FXB, welcome back to the channel. Just watched a video by Ham Radio Crash Course discussing a 100 watt amplifier for the new Yaesu FTX1F that you can now see. This is a shack in the box device. It has 2 meters, 70 SEMs, possibly 70 megahertz, then all the HF bands. It doesn't have an included antenna tuner, but it has a module that you can connect, um, you know, for you know, an additional module for an antenna tuner. Now, probably one of the most one of the most asked questions I've had on this device is, oh, if only it did 100, 100 watts, then I would buy it. So then along comes Ham Radio Crash Course, and I was looking at the FCC report the other day, and I didn't spot this, but someone has. So if we just move this out of the way, and you'll see that there is a diagram here, and they talk about a amplifier, a 100 watt amplifier, that is, that is encased in a housing that possibly will hold the FTX 1F, and that makes complete sense. Now, this is the diagram that's uh, being, you know, shared around, and I'm sure that many, many YouTubers will, we, you know, will see this. Now, on the right hand side, you can see we've got the Yesu FT710, which I, th I think is is one of the best value HF transceivers ever made. Sometimes I hear people saying bad things about this device and I always think what are you on about you can buy these for like 900 pound and you've got an external display and I use mine for about two years I actually upgrade well I don't know if upgrade is the right way word but I changed mine to the 101 and I actually um preferred the smaller model this but you know I'm not going to change now I've got it so of course the ICOM 705 uh this FT 1x um this was a, a this is a competitor to the icom 705 so yesu have really dug deep here and decided to go one step further in my opinion so this is what the box looks like um there are more details on what bands it works with but you can see there it's the model sp1 i mean it's not gonna i would say come on it's not going to be a low price the the s i would say the ftx 1f is probably going to be twelve hundred pounds probably so the box to hold it with a hundred watt amplifier i think you're gonna you're looking the same again i would say but what a game changer and that's the main thing i watched an interview the other day by john crook and he did say that some and he must he knows what's happening that things were happening that were new that were brand new and the ability to place this device you know the x1f into a larger box and then you get the 100 box but it is a shack in the box um, is a game changer it makes me feel like they're not going to bring out a 710 sort of a, a ready-made shack in the box that they're more thinking of going down this path where they're offering something completely new so of course i'm going to put the links in the description so you can check out all the different listings there are several here i've been told that may the 5th is when they're going to start uh, saying that this device is available. So let's just click through anyway some of these. I haven't even looked at most of them. So we'll click the bottom one and you've got all these t tests, spurious emission tests, fascinating stuff. Another one here. Test report, RF power amplifier, SPA1. Look at all that. Um, and yeah, this is public, this is public information. Um, RF exposure. Statement for RF exposure. There, going back. Uh, request for STC. What's that? Uh, please be advised the following information is to be held in confidence for 180 days. Okay, not anymore. <laughs> uh, right, I'm sure it's past the 180 days. I mean, there's a waiting process. That's what we've all been waiting for. And Yesu, you know, they want to release the radio finished. Um, so we all just have to wait. And I think it's going to be worth it. This is going to be one of the best selling radios of all time, in my opinion. Um, I, I I do feel like many people are going to turn. I'm just clicking through as we talk here and say, well, come on, we got the 991. Just give us an update. Yeah. For the same price. An update, you know, £1,200, £1,300. We don't have to mess around with a modular device. We've got the tuner all and everything built in, in one, which is fair enough. Yeah, I get that. So I didn't see everything, uh, anything too interesting there. 
Um, but um, let's just quickly go back to that original diagram. Here we are. And it looks like it looks like you've got feet there at the front. And you can see little buttons there. So is it going to have a completely different head unit? Because you've got buttons there. So is it going to sort of interface? And then you're going to have a big screen that looks like the 710. Um, it just, yeah, sorry about any background noise. Lots of kids here at home. Um, SPA1. So if you're looking for what to click for that, it was the one that's called, let's have a look here, the top one. Was it the top one? Yeah, I think it's the top one, wasn't it? Let me just double check. Yeah, it's the one that was called label and location, okay? Label and location, numbers 06, 06. Let's we'll go back to that. Label and location. And if you've not seen this device before, you know, the, the actual 710. Let me just quickly show you, because that's a beautiful looking set. Uh, quickly show you that again. And you can see, you know, it's, um, it is a beautiful device. The front VFO dial is very, very similar to the 710. You see it there with the LEDs surrounding it. And you've got buttons around it. Back, well, I'm not gonna try and read them all now and my eyes can't take it, but it will be dual receive, simultaneous dual receive. That alone is fantastic. We know it's a modular tuner. It's, you know, it's a brick. You're going to hold it in your hand. If you look at my 710, which I've got here. Okay. It's a brick, you know, and it's another brick. I call them bricks. The brick, a blooming expensive brick as well. Um, so yes, we've got something to think about. I mean, yes, I'm surprised they haven't already thought about bringing it with the 705 with probably, I would say, USB-C at least. And then this is going to, you watch, because yes, because um, ICOM have done, sorry, because yes, are doing this, it's going to make ICOM think, hmm, what can we do? So this is a game changer. This is one of those moments in, you know, when we buy equipment, when you go, ah, Everything's now changed forever. I mean, look at what's happening with China and they're bringing out all these different radios with the HF SI4732 chips and other chips where it includes HF and it's £65 and you've got shack in the boxes in your hand, you know, literally in your hand. Look at this. This is a shack in the box and you could buy it for £70 covering up my ugly face, but you hit the button. And it goes into HF mode. There's someone talking at the moment, so it doesn't want to. Uh, it's the new model, the Radtel and iRadio have brought out now GPS models and APRS. And you can listen to all the HF bands. You can talk on CB. You can chat to your friends on VHF, UHF, four meters, CB, and uh, I've got a feeling 50 megs as well. I mean, so, you know, the world of ham radio and equipment is is changing. It's changing. And it's not even that the technology is massively advanced. It's not that. But the ideas, the ideas that people are coming up with is the people are coming up with better stuff. So, you know, I just think well done to all of them, you know, whether whatever country they're in. Well done. Thank you for bringing out stuff like this because, you know, we're loving it. And don't don't get me wrong. I've still got loads of old gear here. You know, my Yesu 857, those kind of radios. Um, it's still, it doesn't take away from the older radios. Don't think, oh, because something new's come out, you've got to get rid of all the old stuff and only have the new stuff. No, no, because there's a massive price difference. You know, the prices are going to go get lowered with the old gear. And um, you can bet there's going to be a new handheld by Yesu soon because I've noticed that the Yesu FT5D, which I've got here, um, I've noticed that the price has come down on that, yeah? So i got a feeling they're going to be coming out with a new handheld soon. But hey, what do I know? Uh, just speculation. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, please hit the, the like, subscribe. And a massive, massive thanks to Ham Radio Crash Course. Always been a fan of, of actually, of all other YouTube channels, yeah? Uh, always been a fan. I'm a massive fan of, of America. I really am. I just, from a child, I just... Big fan of America, CB, truckers, all that kind of stuff. I've been watching it since before I was, um, before I could spell, put it that way. 7-3, enjoy your hobby and uh, enjoy your hobby. Stay healthy. Seven.